There are a lot of concerns about creatine, protein, and strength training, of all things, that may be bad for your kidneys. I'll explain in line why each of those are actually not, and in fact are good for your kidneys. Number one, creatine. Creatine is not bad for your kidneys. You measure your blood creatinine level and then use that to calculate a filtration rate of your creatinine clearance, meaning how well are your kidneys filtering your blood and clearing out that creatinine. If your creatinine is building up, then that would suggest that your kidneys aren't filtering as well. You just think about that kind of equilibrium there. Yes, if you aren't excreting as much, it's gonna build up. That's disturbed equilibrium. If you increase the production of it, that's also going to disturb that equilibrium and cause your numbers to go up. That's where creatine comes in. So creatine is a simple molecule the body uses kind of as a overdraft account for energy. Your body is breaking apart a molecule called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Remember that phosphate is important here. It liberates that phosphate group, which gives the cell some energy to do the stuff that needs to do. Muscles contract pump sodium ions out, potassium ions into cells, manage all those levels, everything like that. It all breaks down to ATP. Now, if you are currently doing something that's going to deplete that ATP, think of exercise, or on the complete other end of the spectrum here, something where blood flow is disturbed, a stroke, a heart attack, something like that, your body's going to deplete the available ATP and it needs something else to grab at to get some energy. So we call it substrate level phosphorylation because in that cellular mess, there's a lot of different molecules floating around and your tissues are going to be finding ways to transfer that phosphate group and get energy a different way. So in this case, creatine becomes creatine phosphate before all this is happening, and then it just sits there until it needs to be donating that phosphate group. So if you have a depleted pool of ATP, your muscles want to contract, you want them to, then it can reach for that little overdraft of the creatine phosphate, get the energy it needs to get that one extra rep, and that's how you get some of the benefits. Other benefits of creatine, it draws water in wherever it goes, and so that's going to hydrate the muscle. Yes, that makes it water weight, kind of, but it also makes the muscle work better, so it's not like it's just water that's just making you look puffy for no reason. It actually has a purpose there that is very positive. All right, number two, 